guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. Retrievus has gotten into the CB radio game. This is their first CB radio, and this is their first CB radio antenna. I have no idea what they look like. We're going to unbox them and check them out together. But uh, I'm kind of excited to, to do They were packed with just a little excessive, if you ask me. But that's okay. I mean, they came here safely. So first, let's go ahead. Now, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. First, let's open up the CB radio retrievers. I don't know the model number. Wait, I do know the model number. CB radio model number MB1. That's what we're looking at right here. And we get to check it out together for the very first time. The MB1 CB radio user's manual. It is a very compact looking radio. Oh yeah, definitely compact. In fact, it reminds me a bit of the Midland uh, FRS radio, like the 115, I think it is. And it goes into uh, you know, features and functions here, all in English, and 15 pages of manual. So we'll go through that here. A little larger, a little larger than the Midland, but not too much. Wow, that is compact. I'm giving credit. They definitely, their first, their first foray into the CB radio world has produced a very small radio. I would say that is smaller than the Radio Shack TRC 503. Uh, maybe an inch, an inch thick. Maybe two and a half, not even three inches deep, and probably four inches across the front here. On the back, it does have a standard cigarette plug adapter, an external speaker, which is nice, and the PL259 connector. On the front, it uses a uh, Ethernet type plug or phone cord type plug, if you're familiar with that, instead of a four pin, five pin, six pin type. And as far as controls, we have a up down, we have volume on and off here, and a screen. And we'll get into that more when we get close up on it, but I'll just set that there. And here's our microphone. I will say the microphone feels pretty substantial. It's, you know, it's heavier than some mics out there. It does say Retrievus on it. And uh, does have the little hanger on the back. Channel up and down as well, which is nice. And of course our push to talk. Looks like a sort of waterproof type plug for plugging in that cable there. I won't open the baggie, but a baggie with our, uh, up, you know, our screws for this, which is our bracket. And a mic holder, as well as a spare fuse. So nice. Look at here. And I'm really curious uh, about the antenna. So let's go ahead and check it out as well. If I can get it open. Very well taped up. <laughs> still very well taped up. Oh yeah, it's still taped on this side. There we go. All right. Now this has got to be a fairly small antenna unless it's sectional. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. It's so it's sectional. That aside here, we'll open up the base. Nice. Okay, so magnet mounts. Yeah, so they reached out to me to check this out, and they have they they don't didn't at the time that they sent it to me. I didn't have anything to look at because they they hadn't released it yet. So I was like, all right, we want you to look at this, and it's like uh, it's like opening up Christmas presents. You just don't know what you're going to get at this point. It's a surprise. So we do have a nice magnet mount base. It has like a, that's interesting, like felt almost, not rubberized, more of a felt feel to it for a car. That's also a PL259 connector, which is kind of cool. And then probably our standard 18 feet of uh, RG58. So a little thinner cabling than RG6 or RG8X or anything like that. Let's open up this. And it does come with a, okay, so we have in here a very small set screw and adjuster Allen wrench. But it, I like this, that it comes in two parts, so you could have like a less expensive for shipping. So this screws into our base here. It's actually a nice looking little antenna, I gotta say. Didn't know what to expect out of this. I didn't know that they were going to even offer an antenna right out of the gate, so this is really kind of cool. And then we do have a mid 
Looks like a mid-loaded uh, section here, so that's kind of nice. Rubber on the top, so not a, not a steel ball, just a rubber ball there. And this it has a Allen head. Those have Allen heads, so that one that they have must be an extra for you to install. Actually, I've got this one out of the little package here, and it's a little longer for my elderly hands to move with. There we go. Put that on there. Cool. And I would say 36 inches, maybe 38. Probably 38. Kind of an unusual size for it, but you know, I'll lay it down here. Yeah, this table is, well, now, wait a minute. That might be a 48-inch. Hmm, fascinating. It's pretty good. This is a 48-inch table, and this thing almost covers it, so maybe 42-inch we'll go with. Measurements. Not my, not my strong point, apparently, on this video. It does say on the bottom, retrieve is 27 megahertz to give you an idea of what you're looking at. And so here it is. So what we are going to do next, I won't be hooking it up to this antenna. I'm going to hook this up to the Antron so we can go through some of the features and functions. The MB1, so we do have volume up and down, on off. We have a function slash microphone, channel up and down, squelch, emergency, and AF. And it is a bottom fired speaker. So we'll go, we'll mess around. I'm gonna hook it up to the Antron and we'll mess around with that here in a second. I'll go ahead and plug that in. Cool. Well, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Nice, wow, I'm kind of, that's, let's see here. It's not really showing up all that well, to be honest with you. On the screen, it looks more orange. On, in person, it looks very red. Very red. But it's nice. Got a little green light down here letting us know she's powered up. Of course, I've got the microphone hooked up here, and it does have the channel up and down, which is cool. If you look closely enough, you've got, um, whatever, somebody's trying to get through there. You have your FM mode, and of course we press AM or FM. But you have signal meter, you have your frequency counter, you have it set to US, you have beep, and you can hear the beep. Squelch. We have squelch set, we can change that around using up and down turn it all the way off or turn it all the way up anywhere in between if you press and hold that button you can see automatic squelch control is set and so it is kinda gonna cycle back and forth as it gets a signal I'll go ahead and leave that off for the course of this like I said here AM FM emergency button we have 919 oops I switched over to FM okay channel up and down here And we'll press the function button here, and that should get us into our menu. Yep, so we have reset everything, emergency channel, US 19. If we press it again, we are going to be able to change that. You can see emergency off, US, right? And then if we want to change it, to emergency one we want to change that channel I'm gonna leave it at 19 but you see you can uh, modify that channel FM or AM in this case it's, it's set to FM which is kinda of unusual but emergency two right and then we'll go down time on talk is set here at uh, two so we'll leave that at that brightness uh, we'll go in there and change that maybe make it a little easier for you to see Maybe like that might be a little easier for you, hopefully. We'll leave that be. Colors, we have color options. Wow, that's actually a lot nicer. We'll probably leave it at that one. But we have purple. Oh, we have, they call it yellow. That looks green to me. And like a light blue, a very dark blue. Actually, that's really pretty. Maybe I'll leave it on that one. Back to green. So I think I'm going to put it on the dark blue. It looks like it's showing up okay in there. And Roger Beep, we want that Roger Beep to be on. It has some choices. We'll leave it on that. RF gain function, you have the ability to change that around. I'm just going to leave that where it is set from the factory. 
RF auto on. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't looked, seen that in the manual, but apparently it's got that feature. Noise blanker. Yeah, I'm going to turn that on so you see the little noise blank came up. Talk back is off. I'm going to leave that off, but some truckers love to hear their own voices, so it's not a bad idea to have that built in. Such a small radio to have all these features. It's kind of cool. High cut. Yeah, I'm going to turn high cut on. I like having that feature here. And what do we have? Seat type. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Must. Uh, oh, scan type. Sorry. <laughs> scan type. We're going to leave that at normal, but you can change that around. So timer or so see so what your scan time is going to come up with squelch or time. So if somebody talks and then and then it goes off, well, squelch is going to catch that it's gone off and go to scan. Or you can leave it on for a set amount of time. So that's what that's all about. Automatic squelch set. We'll leave that at six. Squelch uh, set. We're leaving that off for right now. We have Vox ability. If you want to add a Vox setup, like if you're in a state that doesn't allow hands, uh, to, you know, hands free, you have to use a Vox. Box volume, microphone type. We're gonna leave that alone. Stock mic. But if you change the mic around, you could you could use it to change that. Microphone set. So we have uh, the ability to turn up the gain a little bit. I'll probably do that. I'm gonna turn the gain just a bit. And then key beep. It's been on the whole time, but we're gonna get rid of that. There we go. And that's it. We're back. Pretty cool. And then we're back in it. Skip has been pretty much dead here. We've had a solar storm and, and it's wiped out everything. But we'll try to make a contact here on 16. Brake channel. Brake channel for a radio check. You can also see the RX TX lights coming on there. Well, nobody on 16. We'll try 14. Brake channel. Brake channel for a radio check. What skips coming in, the South American skip, pretty strong today. I'll move down to brake channel, brake channel for a radio check. Well, looks like I'm not going to be making any contacts tonight, but that doesn't make it a great radio. It actually is a pretty cool little radio. I'll tell you what, what I like about this the most is that you've got all the features and functions, and you've got them wedged into an awfully small package. So, if you have a modern car and it has no room for us to put something, this is an option that will probably work. This is something you could put into pretty much any cubby hole and it would work at an external speaker and you're really in good shape. I guess that'll do it for tonight. It's the Retrievus MB1. I'm happy to see them enter the CB game and I look forward to what comes next. Take care.